Oh, let me ask you this. So how how man, listen, how credible is the testimony of an informant or a snitch? Well, I think that it depends on lots of factors about that snitch. Like I would have to know more about or a jury really is usually the one that decides that. Right. And so the jury usually gets to know kind of what their motive is. Why are they snitching? What are they getting out of it? Usually they're getting a reduced sentence or a dismissal on their case, right? Um, so it that definitely hurts their credibility. But the juries, when, when a judge instructs a jury on how to judge credibility, they're told to look at lots of different factors, including what's their motive to tell the truth or what's their motive to lie. And have they, have they been inconsistent, you know, in the past? Are they inconsistent in their story to begin with? And now it's, there's lots of things that juries are instruct, a jury is instructed to take into consideration, one of them being the motive. Yeah, I, I've always wondered how much, because like on the outside looking in, I'm thinking, my, my mindset is, man, this dude is going to tell you whatever you want to hear to get out of his charge. And you're going to actually use this testimony to convict this person? Like, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? This dude is trying to get his time cut. If you want me to say Rebecca Stein robbed a uh, son trust, I will do that if you're going to cut my time. And y'all can figure out later on down the line that she didn't do it. I'm just trying to tell y'all whatever y'all want to hear to cut this time. Yeah, Jamal killed the police. Uh, she went and murdered the uh, pastor. Whatever y'all want to hear, yes, he did. Well, a lot of times <laughs> informants are used to corroborate other evidence. In other words, it's not just the snitch's word, uh, you know, that they're told. It's the snitch's word along with other evidence that maybe, you know, supports what the snitch told. So the jury's also told, like, when you're listening to a witness, think about whether there's other evidence that corroborates what they're saying. Right, right, and right. so I think it would be very hard to convict somebody of a crime based only on a snitch's testimony who's going to get something out of it themselves. Well, snitches have got a lot of people charged with crimes that they've actually had to go to court and beat. But people have been picked That's up. That's true, but, but usually there is more evidence. They may tell something and that leads to developing other evidence in the case. In right. other words, somebody might come to the police and say, you know, I can tell you who, mur who committed this murder if you'll lighten up on my drug case. And they come in and give evidence, but then the Please don't usually just go, okay, we're going to arrest that person now because this guy said so. It, but it leads them to other evidence. In other words, okay. they okay. start looking at cameras and they start looking at talking to certain witnesses or they, they try to corroborate the snitch's testimony. It leads them into a better, sometimes leads them to, to other evidence that corroborates the snitch's informants, <laughs> the informants' uh, evidence. Right. And I've seen situations too where uh, people have been told on by somebody that they, they didn't even know. Like, man, like, okay, like they brought Rebecca to the court on me. She testified and they brought somebody named Jamie. I don't even know this lady. She got on the stand and said, I did it too. I've never even seen her in my life. But mm -hmm. her, her testimony stuck. And I don't, I don't know the lady. Like one guy I know, say guy A, he was on a charge with guy B, these two. Mm -hmm. Guy B, was on another separate charge with Guy C. So Guy yes. C came to court and said whatever against Guy B and said something against Guy A. And the guy yes. was like, I don't even know this guy. I know the guy you got me charged with, but that guy, I don't even know him. How is this, his testimony going to convict me? I don't know this guy. He's on a charge well, with a charge partner, but I've never seen this dude. Right. You know, well, hopefully through cross-examination and other witness, that can be brought to light in front of the jury that that's not you know, that maybe it's a mistaken identity, you know, maybe there's a motive for naming this innocent person. I mean, that's, that's sort of the duty of the lawyers to refute, you know, that kind of evidence. 